Ginger Pie Poppins. These are so root down that I should take them out right like this. Oh my goodness. What is that? Huh? How are they root bound? Just well, together? Just, see how thick those roots are? Should have brought them out a while later. Oh well. What is that? If you only had the hori hori. I <laughs> know. Someone would have just bought me a hori hori. You could have used it. It would have probably worked perfect for cutting these out. Mm-hmm. Did you order that one for me? No. Oh. <laughs> I'll send back the crummy one I ordered. I was even going to work on ordering you a sign for the house. Actually, this is going to be more space than I thought. So that's going to be nice. Oh look, another piece of garbage. Italian parsley. And a fork. Fork you. <laughs> Impatience. Is what you have. <laughs> By property, you should assume automatically that someone needs it as their personal dump of their own. And if they didn't, you're lucky. I, I, I lied. There's not. Well, it's over then. Huh? What? 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 Nothing. Go. What did you say? What? I thought there was like, I thought I had like, what did I say? 30 plants? Is that what I said? No, like, yeah, something 40. Yes, you said 40. I think I have like 60. You have more? This is all of them, but I oh. think I had more than what I said I had. I would do, if you have more, you have more room to space these things out. I would space them out more okay. before you start digging and planting them so close. Well, the, I am. I, now I'm looking at it going, okay. Well, no, it. but I mean, you have this whole area with nothing in it. Yeah. You have way too many in here. You know, think about it like at the pumpkin patch. Okay. Well, I would take out every other row then or something. Okay, I can do that. Do you, okay. I'll do that in just a minute. I'll plant this row first. Last summer, we had the area behind us cleared. You can see the slash pile right here. And actually, you can see another slash pile there. And they go all the way up the hill. There's a lot of slash piles that we need to take care of, but we need to let them settle and dry. So it may be at least another year before we can start burning them. However, with that, we have some space on this hillside that... I really didn't know what we were going to, to do with it. Again, it's a sloped hill. It's not really good for a full garden, but I thought to myself, I got a little excited when I was doing my starts for my jack-o'-lanterns, pie pumpkins, straight neck squash, and butternut squash. And in all, I had 65 starts, which if any of you know about uh, squashes and pumpkins they like to take over your garden and in the past I've only planted a few and I've had to work really hard to encourage the vines to go in the direction that I wanted them to go so this year instead of worrying about that I decided to take this hillside and make it my squash slash pumpkin garden and the vines are welcome to go wherever they choose so today Matt used the box grater with, I don't know the technical term, but basically they're rippers that you can attach. And he ripped up all this ground on this hillside and it didn't need to be pretty. I didn't need it graded. I wasn't gonna worry about the excess weeds. It would take me forever because this hillside actually was originally covered in blackberries. So there are a lot of blackberry roots out here and they, go far and deep. So I'm not even going to worry about them. I'm hoping that as these pumpkins grow, they just kind of take over. So I have gone from all, that's the farthest plant over there. I've covered this entire hillside all the way 
to right around there. So 65 starts and we shall see how they do.